you know, you work as a back of all this time. Now you know what you're starting with. What's that? How's that different for you uh, this weekend in coming? Yeah, it's nice to you know be able to focus on one spot as a backup. In the NFL, you got to be able to bounce around everywhere. So just knowing the work on one spot all week will, will definitely build some comfort, um, you know. But been doing it for a while now, so you know, feeling comfortable at this spot. What's the What's the biggest challenge playing left side and then right side? Like, like what are the big differences? Yeah, uh, you, you know, your kind of your feet and hips and stuff just get used to going one way, and so especially in pass blocking, you just have to readjust, get more used to switching sides. But you know. Like I said, as a backup, we were playing both sides every day. So, um, you know, at this point, should be comfortable with that. Like, that's, TJ is such a tough matchup. How much harder is it, um, I guess, coming in thinking you're going to be a backup and then all of a sudden being out there for so many snaps against him? Yeah, you know, you gotta you got to prepare like a starter even when you're a backup because as we've seen too often this year, things can change quickly, um, especially when you're going against a, a top player like that. you got to go into the game preparing like a starter and thinking the very first play something could happen like what happened with Jack unfortunately uh, so you always got to be ready for a situation like that as a backup I know he's gonna win some battles how did you think you did overall yeah you know got to do better against a guy like that um, uh, anything you do poorly he'll use against you so if you have bad feet on a pass set or you you know bad punch or whatever you know when you're going against a top player you just you have to be perfect so uh, you know, got to do better to to get more points on the board and finish the game better. Well, like injuries are part of it, and every team is dealing with their own injuries. What kind of a challenge is it during the week when guys aren't getting necessarily all kinds of reps during the week, and then maybe the first action they get is on Sunday? Yeah, um, you know, it goes back to everybody being ready to to start. You know, whether they're able to practice all week or not. You know, uh, every guy's a little different. You know, these veteran guys. You know, like JC, Jack, Joel, these guys have been playing for so long that, you know, they still want to practice, obviously, but they know their bodies uh, to know how much they need to do to get ready based on how they're feeling that week. So, uh, you know, for those guys, we trust them to, to be ready to go on game day, no matter how much they're able to get out there during the Since week. you mentioned those three, how, how nice is it for you to be able to lean on guys like that that have that kind of experience? Yeah, I love this group for that reason. Um, a lot of... A lot of talent and a lot of experience, and they're all really good leaders at the same time. Great people who are always willing to lend a helping hand if you if you reach out and ask for it. So, having guys like that in the room is invaluable for you know younger guys, newer guys to the system, uh, and just watching how they work and how they play. You know, you want to emulate your game after guys like that and play like them. So. Yeah, it's great. You know, anytime I have any question about technique or, you know, he's still watching the guys that I'm going against and have questions about them, he's, you know, more than willing to help. And he's still being proactive in the way that he gets ready for the game, even though he's not playing, so that he can help, you know, guys like me and James and everybody. So, yeah, it's great. He's a, he's a, a valuable asset for sure when I'm in there. What do you see out of those two Bengals um, defense men? Yeah, they're, you know, really talented. Their whole front is really talented. They all work really hard, relentless motor type of guys. Um, they're all smart. They're all good with their hands. You know, so we got a, a tough task. You know, they do a good job in, in the run game. Uh, their whole front does. So, you know, we got a, a tough task ahead of us this week for sure. When you talk about relentless, it seems like Hendrickson gets a lot of his sacks kind of on second and third effort. So is a tackle, what do you have to do maybe differently? Yeah, you know, it's how we always want to play, but you want to – you just have to always have to finish. If you stop the first move, he's you know he's not going to stop. You know, and not many ends in our league do stop. But you know, against a guy guys like that who are just keep finishing, keep throwing another move, you just have to be you know ready to keep doing the same and never stop and just always assume that the quarterback still got the ball back there. And you talked about being ready no matter what and when you have to get out there. But is there anything specifically that Coach Callahan helps like harps on? to get you guys cohesive for whoever needs to be plugged in? Uh, yeah, you know, I think it's just the reps in practice. You know, the more reps you get next to a, a guy, the more comfortable you are with him. The more reps you get at one position, the more comfortable you are in those movements. Um, so, you know, 
it, for, with Coach Callahan, I think a big focus is just like doing a few things really well and doing them often uh, and not trying to do too much, but basically just always harping on the fundamentals and trying to repeat those over and over again so you feel confident to go do them on a consistent basis. Casey talked uh, the other day about how he's, he you know, admires what you've been able to do because your role has turned into something that you couldn't necessarily envision you know, back in training camp. So I know you played tackle in college, but were you really – just strictly guard, like all the way up until the season started. Like, did you have to get that muscle memory back? How did that all go? Yeah, it's different, you know, bumping out. Um, in training camp, I was mostly inside. Uh, a few days at tackle here and there when we had some injuries and stuff, um, but primarily inside. But, you know, at this point, it's been probably a month or five weeks now or something that I've been almost solely focused on tackle. So at this point, it's starting to feel like that's, you know, where I've been for a while. And, you know, I don't really have any excuses anymore to, you know, to, to not perform well. <laughs> How much did your, I mean, you just, did it give you, I don't know, confidence or comfort knowing that, you know, that was a position you used to play? Like, it wasn't that crazy of a transition? Because yeah. You yeah, I imagine if you've never been out in the space that tackle presents, that it would be a lot more uncomfortable. But... Since I was, you know, played there for four years in college, um, I've had that space before, and it wasn't a totally new adjustment. Whereas it might be for someone who's always played inside. In the morning meeting today, how much time did Stefanski devote to the backup situation? Uh, we just went about our normal business today. Uh, we game plan, install, went right to Cincinnati. Um, there wasn't really any any differences in how we uh, went about our Wednesday morning. You didn't address it. Uh, you know, we just went right into right into Cincinnati, so.